Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many CUDA developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to use the CUDA memset async function within a kernel, but despite their efforts, the memory always ends up being set to zero. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. In this video, we'll address the issue with the CUDA device runtime API function, CUDA memset async, not working as expected when called from a kernel. Let's take a look at the provided code. The kernel is attempting to set memory using CUDA memset async, but it always results in zero values. The problem arises because CUDA memset async is not supported in dynamic parallelism. This means you cannot call it from within a kernel launched by another kernel. To resolve this, you should call CUDA memset async from the host code instead of the kernel. This will ensure that the memory is set correctly. Finally, remember to check for errors after CUDA API calls to help diagnose issues more effectively. This will provide better insights into what might be going wrong. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In CUDA 8, the CUDA memset async function doesn't work as expected. Instead, you can use the memset function directly in your device code. For a dynamic parallelism style memset, you can create your own implementation. Here's a simple example of a custom memset kernel. Remember, CUDA memset only sets byte values. If you want to set 32-bit integers, you'll need your own version of memset. And that's it, guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.